purpose of the picture you are about to see is to promote a better understanding of the vast problems and continuous work necessary in bringing you each day fresh, pure, and energizing milk products. The story of milk and milk products is typical American because it is a story of progress. Today in our country, milk is the best that modern science can produce. Our system of supply and pasteurization, sanitation and low cost distribution creates a model that is the standard of the whole world. It is with a great deal of pleasure that we present the following triple goodness story to the millions of people engaged in the dairy industry, to the farmers who twice every 24 hours milk their cows, to the folks who process and deliver ice cream and other dairy products, to the thousands of federal, state, city, and county health authorities who have contributed so greatly to this success story, to the many suppliers whose machines and equipment have helped process America's wonderful dairy products, to the dealers everywhere whose fine facility make these products readily available. To you, the American consumer whose tremendous daily demands have made our dairy industry the best in all the world. And finally, old Bossy the cow, truly the foster mother of the whole world, the most important producer in America today. To all of these, we respectfully dedicate this picture. faithful servants of mankind down through the ages, none has served us better than old Bossy the cow. Since time began, milk has been one of the most nutritious of all foods. Composed of proteins, butter fat, carbohydrates, calcium, and a complete assortment of all the vitamins required by man. Truly a wonderful gift from nature. But only during recent years has milk been brought up to its present high standards of purity and goodness. Contrast the cows of a few years ago with the fine, healthy, scientifically cared for dairy herds of today. Remember the milking conditions of yesteryear? Compare them with the improved and vastly more sanitary operations of today. This replaced by this. Old-fashioned methods giving way to modern and scientific processing like pasteurizing, homogenizing, procuring milk once troublesome, time-consuming, and unsanitary. Now, fast, efficient delivery service. Milk to you in sanitary containers sealed within a few hours from the time it left the cows. Milk untouched by human hands. Today, milk comes to the customer, whether at home, store, or restaurant, at the peak of its triple goodness. Fresh, pure, and energizing, enriched by added vitamins. The story of milk today is the story of progress in the dairy industry, of scientific know-how and meticulous care to bring you an improved product as practiced by modern dairies. A far cry from the one-man operation of a few years ago. Modern milk production and processing entails the services of many people, scientists, chemists, agricultural experts, and a large variety of skilled technicians. And of course, old Bossy. And many others like her on farms like this one that produces milk for foremost dairies.
finest strains of cattle obtainable, such as the well-known Jersey, the popular Guernsey, and the productive Holstein. Since good milk can come only from healthy cows, they are periodically checked by city, state, and county health officials, private veterinarians, and field representatives of the dairy. The cows are given the best of scientific care by experts. Old Bossy even gets a four weeks vacation every year because too much milking has proved to be detrimental to cows. Good pasture land is of prime importance to healthy and productive cows, and the first step in ensuring a milk of top quality is taken in the earth itself. Soil technicians called agronomists take samples of the soil, analyze it to determine what it contains, what it needs, and what it will or will not grow. The milk business of today is scientific every step of the way from the ground right to your doorstep. The farms have modern laboratories where technicians conduct experiments continually to find ways and means to improve pasture lands. Rotation of crops, systematic fertilizing, plus the information obtained by these experiments have proved invaluable not only to the dairy producers, but to many other farmers in all parts of the country. Everything possible is done to see that old Bossy leads the healthy life of Riley. And then, twice a day, she and her friends reciprocate by giving top quality milk under the most sanitary of conditions in spick and span milking barns. The cows step into their favorite stalls and await the pre-milking routine. The dairy barns are kept spotless and free from dust. The clothing of those persons who handle the milk must be kept clean. Field representatives from the dairy make frequent inspections to see that the producers are complying with all sanitary precautions. This entails the cows being washed thoroughly in a chlorine solution before each milking. Old Bossy is not only a healthy cow, she's a clean one. She gets a bath twice a day. All containers and milking machines are thoroughly sterilized. The cup sterilized after every cow. While the cows are munching on their concentrated foods, electrical milking machines do their job quickly, efficiently, and sanitarily. The milk is then immediately cooled. Old Bossy has certainly done her part, but now modern dairy processing brings to perfection her almost perfect food. After being strained and cooled down to about 39 degrees, the milk is sent to the plant at the peak of its freshness by refrigerator trucks or in 10-gallon cans on ice. At the receiving station at the plant, milk from the various producers is first inspected by an expert whose keen sense of smell can instantly detect any off odors and tell if a herd has been grazing on anything that will affect the aroma or taste of the milk. If so, the milk is, of course, rejected. Samples from every load are taken, placed in sterile sample bottles, and sent to the plant laboratory. In the laboratory, under the supervision of capable bacteriologists, the milk is checked for specific gravity. Tests are conducted for butterfat and water content. The sediment is also determined. Microscopic examinations reveal the number and kinds of harmful bacteria present. If the bacteria count is too high, further analyses are made to determine the cause. The producer is notified so that the cause may be eliminated. An important place, the plant laboratory, because here the milk is under constant scientific checking and testing as it goes through all phases of its processing. Since milk is measured by weight, it is weighed and recorded at this point. From the receiving station, the milk is piped to the clarifier. Although it was carefully strained before it reached the dairy, it is sent to the clarifier for final purity insurance. Then to the plate cooler, where it flows between stainless steel plates containing cold water. This chills the milk to a temperature of 38 degrees or so. The milk held at this temperature ensures that it maintains its freshness. After this chilling, it is sent to the refrigerated storage tanks, where it is held a short time until needed. 
This man is a member of the Special Sanitary Committee who make occasional and unannounced inspections of the whole plant to see that no unsanitary conditions exist. From the storage tank, the milk is released to the float balance tanks, which control the flow of milk to the pasteurizer or homogenizer. Pasteurization was a great step forward in the purifying of milk, and today almost all milk goes through this process. The foremost dairy uses the flash method. This method of pasteurization destroys any harmful bacteria in 15 seconds at 160 degrees. This method does not give the milk a cooked taste and is far advanced over the old method which heats the milk over a period of 30 minutes or more. Grade A milk, which is distinguishable from homogenized grade A milk in that its cream line is clearly visible, is now ready to be put into containers. Prior to the homogenizing process, vitamin D is added to the milk. This important vitamin has the effect of promoting the utilization of the calcium and phosphorus in milk by the person drinking the milk. It's the calcium and phosphorus that gives us strong bones and teeth. Homogenized milk goes through another process which breaks up the butterfat molecules to give an even distribution of cream in every drop, making the milk of a perfectly even texture. Samples are taken periodically and sent to the laboratory where the degree of homogenization is checked by examining the dispersion and size of fat globules with the microscope. From the homogenizer, the milk is pumped to the storage tank where the milk is meted out in quantities sufficient to feed the bottles that have been thoroughly cleansed. The bottle washing machine is checked twice a day to see that the washing solution and the sterilizing rinse concentration are up to standard. The milk is automatically put into the bottles and capped and sealed. The milk is untouched by human hands from the time it is taken from the cow until it reaches the consumer. Every hour of the day, the technician removes a bottle or container from the line. It is checked for temperature, which must be below 50 degrees, also for flavor, butterfat content, and acidity. The phosphatase test checks the efficiency of pasteurization. Quality is controlled all the way. Most milk is put into new type sanitary containers, preferred by most people because they are lighter and easier to handle. This ingenious machine folds the container into shape, binds the edges, then coats the paper with a liquid-proof glossy finish. And then the containers are automatically filled and sealed. From the filler machines, the milk is immediately sent to refrigerated storage rooms. The whole processing is completed within a few hours from the time it leaves the cow. There are many byproducts of milk, but perhaps the most popular is, yes, you guessed it, ice cream. And the same meticulous and scientific care goes into the processing of it that goes into milk. The best products obtainable are used. First, the milk, sugar, egg yolks, and rich whipping cream are placed in a vat, thoroughly mixed and pasteurized. Then, ice cream mix undergoes the same rigid quality control testing as milk. It is then sent to the homogenizer, which gives the mix a smooth, even texture and makes each spoonful identical. It then goes over a cooler, which cools it down to 38 degrees or so. then sent to an insulated holding vat where it is kept at low temperature until used. It is then sent to flavor tanks where your favorite flavor is added. To the continuous freezer where it is frozen to a semi-solid condition. Fresh fruits or nuts are added to the ice cream. The soft ice cream is then put into the various sanitary containers and sent to a hardening room of 20 degrees below zero where it is fully frozen and stored until ready for delivery. Some ice cream items like the ice cream cups are filled automatically. 
then sent to the hardening rooms where they too await delivery. The ingenious Menasha machine picks collapsed cartons from a continuous supply, automatically opens them, closes the bottom, and delivers them to the filler line where ice cream is filled by hand. Everyone is familiar with the chocolate-covered ice cream bars. Semi-liquid ice cream is poured into special sanitary molds from a multiple filler. After a rack of sticks are inserted in the molds, they are automatically conveyed through a brine solution that freezes them into a solid state. ice cream is released from the molds by insertion in hot water, chilled again in the chill box, and immersed in a chocolate dipping tank. Mmm, looks good, doesn't it? And finally sent on their way to be packaged. The popular and colorful popsicles are frozen in a manner similar to the chocolate-covered ice cream bars. After being frozen, these fruit-flavored novelties are sent to the packaging machine. Here, the contents of the entire rack are dropped into wrappers in one operation, then placed in boxes for more convenient handling. And there you have it. Foremost products. Triple goodness. Fresh, pure, energizing. All bearing the name Foremost. A name that automatically means quality to the customer. The foremost name in dairy products. Scientifically produced and processed with a far-reaching program of quality control that means checking and testing every step of the way to ensure and stabilize the quality of our product at a high level. A product that we may well be proud of. To ensure the continuance of this high quality calls for cooperation and understanding on the part of everyone, from the man who milks the cows to the last retail salesman. The distribution of milk and milk products has truly kept pace with the modern improved methods of production and processing. Modern dairies now, by the use of refrigerated and ice trucks, transport the products to the surrounding territories speedily and efficiently. These refrigerated and ice trucks are further insurance that the milk and other dairy products that you buy reach you at their peak of sealed-in freshness, pure and with all energizing qualities intact. There are daily deliveries to grocery stores, restaurants, drug stores, hotels, fountains, schools, hospitals and institutions. And whereas the buying of milk and milk products used to be a chore for the housewife, now thanks to modern and efficient dairy delivery methods, these products can be and are delivered right to the door. Modern know-how, scientific production and processing under strict quality control, plus up-to-the-minute dairy delivery services, combine to bring to the customer a top quality product at the peak of its goodness. Triple goodness, fresh, pure, and energizing. The most perfectly balanced food there is. Wholesome, nutritious, and tasty. One quart of milk contains the protein value of one serving of beefsteak or four eggs. In addition, carbohydrates for quick energy equal to three slices of bread or two servings of potatoes. Plus the calcium value of four pounds of spinach or four pounds of string beans. The vitamin A value of half a head of lettuce or three bananas. The vitamin B2 value of one pound of veal cutlet or two pounds of sausage. 
plus phosphorus equal to eight servings of oatmeal or six servings of green peas. All this in one quart of milk. Without question, it's our most important food, containing phosphorus and calcium that build healthy bones and teeth. And thanks to modern dairy science, these elements are made more valuable by the addition of vitamin D. The perfect food for the young, the perfect food for the old. A dietetic must on the menus of those who wish to rebuild worn out or torn down body tissues quickly and effectively. Good with any meal, breakfast, lunch, or dinner. It goes with anything and is the easiest of all to digest. Or by itself, it's one of the most refreshing drinks there is. Representing just a small fraction of the food bill, it does more for the body than any other food. Your best food investment that means health and strength. Milk and milk products such as ice cream, America's foremost and favorite delicacy. Eaten and enjoyed by kids, everybody, everywhere. Strictly American, strictly good. Ice cream and ice cream novelties, many, many products, and all made largely from milk. Milk, all fresh, all pure, all energizing, and all good. Triple goodness, thanks to modern dairies and old bossy. And as long as you keep drinking it, I'll keep giving it with triple goodness. Foremost, doo -doo, triple goodness, oh. Foremost, doo -doo, triple goodness, oh. Fresh, pure, nutritious. Oh, so delicious. Foremost. Mm -hmm.